Welcome back to our channel, where we discuss everything related to workplace safety and risk management. In today's video, we will be exploring the main types of workers that organizations should consider when conducting a comprehensive workplace risk assessment. So if you are ready, let's dive right in. Before we begin, it's important to understand that every workplace is unique with its own set of hazards and risks. To ensure a safe working environment, organizations must identify and evaluate potential risks specific to their operations. A crucial step in this process is taking into account the different types of workers within the organization. So, let's explore these worker categories. Number 1 Full-time employees. Full-time employees form the core workforce and are typically present during regular working hours. They are directly employed by the organization and may have varying rules and responsibilities. Identifying the risks they face is essential, as their routine tasks may expose them to specific hazards. Number 2. Part-time and temporary employees. Many organizations employ part-time and temporary workers to meet fluctuating work demands. These individuals may have limited experience or familiarity with the workplace, making them more susceptible to accidents. It's important to provide them with proper training, ensure they are aware of potential risks, and include them in the risk assessment process. Number 3. Contractors and Subcontractors in many industries, contractors and subcontractors are involved in projects or specific tasks. While they may work under the supervision of the organization, they often bring their own workforce and equipment. Collaborating with contractors requires clear communication regarding risks, safety protocols, and the integration of their workers into the overall risk assessment plan. Number 4. Visitors and Guests Workplace risk assessment should also account for visitors and guests, such as clients, customers, or vendors. These individuals may not be familiar with the organization's safety procedures or potential hazards. Organizations must provide clear instructions, guidance, and safety measures to ensure their well-being during their time on the premises. Number 5. Remote and mobile workers. With the rise of remote work and flexible schedules, organizations now need to consider employees who work from home or travel frequently. While they may not be physically present in the workplace, they will they still face various risks associated with their work activities. Conducting risk assessments tailored to their unique circumstances is crucial to ensure their safety. Now that we have discussed the main types of workers, it's important to emphasize the significance of inclusive risk assessments. By considering all these worker categories, organizations can identify potential hazards that might otherwise go unnoticed. Inclusive risk assessments help create a comprehensive safety culture and ensure the well-being of everyone involved in or visiting the work that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you find this information helpful and that it will assist you in conducting thorough risk assessments in your organization. Remember, taking into account the various types of workers in your workplace is a crucial step towards creating a safer and healthier environment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more workplace safety content. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay safe.